Good afternoon. Yes, it is a long time since we had the chat or a video. The last video was uh, about our rum making efforts and we did make fantastic rum. It is it's scary how nice it tastes. <laughs> uh, well, the taste is, is scary nice, but it's also scary what it does to you after you taste so many of that scary nice rum. Um, we even made some whiskey. And this week we're going to talk about sea anchors. Feel the spray of the waves on my face. Atlantic Indian Ocean Blue. Whoa, land in sight to starboard. Got me home from where I roam. What do we want from them? What are they? And which one will work the best? Um, and there is a definite answer to that. But let's go through it one by one. Sea anchors and drugs. Um, it's another controversial one. It's the same as what type do you want? A mono or catamaran? What type of anchor is working? What triggered my thoughts was that I was thinking about all of these hurricanes that's going on through Hurricane Michael and you know, all of these guys. But the discussions on the sailing forums was was all about should we go out to sea? Should we stay in a marina? Should we at anchor? Um, should we go into mangroves? And there's a lot of discussions around that. Um, and I can see all the pros and cons of, of all of them. But what made me thought then was, okay, if I do go out, I, I anyway need to buy some device if I want to be in the a, in a, in a southern oceans and things like that. So, and there is, don't take me wrong, water is a formidable force that you always need to, need to think about and you cannot you cannot ignore it. Moving water is exceptionally strong. I mean, if you look at the tsunamis of the, you can just go to YouTube and look at the tsunamis in Japan, and you can see what what moving water is doing. Um, it's devastating. The same with, with, with wind. Wind is devastating, but wind itself is not devastating if it doesn't, if it cannot catch on to something. So if you can, make it not to be able to catch or grab something, then it's it will just go past you. The problem with hurricanes and all of those devastating videos that you're seeing is that it lifts something up and then it smashes into something and that causes more damage. The wind itself is not damaging at all. It, again, don't take me wrong, it is a force to reckon with. But it's the moving projectiles that becomes the, the, the concern and the damaging force. And the same with water. If water is moving, then it causes... So now why do I talk about this moving things? When you are out at sea, it is the perception that the waves is moving. Waves is actually not moving. Yeah, you will say a tsunami is moving inland. But I will explain to you now what I'm saying. The waves is actually energy that's moving. But the water itself stays. It's not as if the sea is now suddenly going in one direction because the wind is blowing that direction. What is actually happening is, is that the, the molecules is making these circulars, circle movement of the energy that was generated. How does it start? It starts with fine little ripples along the sea, uh, on the surface, because the wind is pushing, and in that wind is start rubbing off onto the water, and as that water has been rubbed, it starts pushing up, and then the, the water tension wants to be straight, so the surface wants to be straight, so it drops down again. So as it drops down, it actually drops down maybe through, and then up again. So this is how the wave movement starts. And then eventually, as this getting higher and higher, it becomes gravitational waves. So it's not anymore the water tension is trying to get it um, straight and level. It is now actually the gravity that's starting to pull the water mass down. And then it starts doing this as well. 
but that's only what's happening the water is doing this it's like just going up and down but what is the energy it has to have some energy because the water is is transferring energy uh, the wind is transferring energy to the water so what is what's the result because it's bumping like this that water molecule is bumping bumping the water molecule is dropping off and someone needs to take its place it takes its place so it starts doing this um, so it is actually if the wave is the wave height is five meters then the circle is five meters in diameter so this is how that water is moving only in that five meter radius uh, five meter diameter so two and a half meter radius if the wave height is one meter then it is just a one meter circle that it is doing so let's think about that now the water is not moving except for that circle the energy is only transferred to the from one side to the other side of the ocean and if that is the case then it means you can actually anchor at sea you can actually put something in the water, deep enough in the water, that it will not move. Your boat will not move, except for the currents. We're not talking about currents now. And I have to categorically, because there's many people are going to say, currents is moving. Yes, <laughs> the currents is moving. I'm not talking, I'm saying now, if there's no current. So let's take it like that. If there's a current, you have to make sure that you're not close to any reefs or any islands or anything like that, that you will actually go in there. But you will be... I think for most of the time you will be pretty safe, even very close to shore, by putting an anchor in and you will not actually be um, going on shore, if your anchor is big enough. Now, coming to the size of the anchor, let's think about your own ground tackle anchor. So you want your ground tackle, if I'm not mistaken, to be as solid as possible. And most of the time it equals to weight. Um, yeah, we get down modern anchors. Our anchor is, is the Mantis anchors. But the bigger the anchor is, the more secure you will feel. And this is the same with a sea anchor. You want that anchor to be big. So it's normally a parachute type of thing that they put into the water and it is actually then a movement against the water, the resistance of the water that makes that that thing is just stuck there. So, First thing about sea anchors is it has to be big. It cannot be a small drogue thing or a cone thing. It has to be big. And some of the guys are talking about three meters big and seven meters big. It is like a parachute, a real army parachute that you jump out of the plane. So the resistance in a, of the water is exceptionally high. So if you can have a big thing in front of you and the anchor is normally off the bow. So yeah, that's another thing. An anchor is normally off the bow. A sea anchor is off the bow. So, if you put that big thing there, then you will not go anywhere, except where the current is taking you, of course. But the wind will not take you anywhere. So we will, we will talk about the wind and breaking waves a little bit later. But for now, you just want to stay static. You don't want the wind to push you onto shore. So this is a, 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 a thing that you need to keep in mind. It has to be big. Then, now, let's think about these waves. It, ooh, these waves that's going the same circles like this, right? It is going up and then so, together like this. If your boat is, is, is positioned here and your anchor is, your sea anchor is here, it should not be in opposing waves. So you should not be up and that thing should be down. If the, if the anchor is down while you up, then that energy is moving the opposite direction as what you are moving. So you were going, for example, if the waves was doing this, you will be going that way and the anchor will coming towards you. Then the next moment, if you go down, the anchor will go up, but it will go in the opposite direction and then the ropes will break or some hardware will break or the sand. You, you will break something because that thing can stop 16,000 tons, really. So if your cleat is not designed to take that impact, it will break. If the rope is not designed for that, it will break. So what do you need to do is lead, let out a little bit more scope so that you roll with the anchor. So if you go like this, it will be fine. So that's another thing about anchor is the road lengths. 
if if the road length if you're feeling that jerky movement it means you are too close or too far away you must just move one wavelength further and it's very easy to determine you look at the frequency of the waves and then you know okay from that crest to this crest is maybe say five meters or ten meters so i need to make it five meters longer and make it five meters longer the longer it is the better so that's a that is a very important point to remember is that the road has to be in synchronization with your with your thing because the water is moving in this five meter circles or bigger or smaller but it's moving in our example the five meter so it's moving like that so you must be in harmony with your anchor it is the same for the drugs by the way if we get later to the drugs so this is the thing about sea anchors you can stay static in the water something that you need to keep in mind is um, the buoyancy of the boat so if this thing is going down if you put the weight on it and it actually goes down and your boat is say it's now below your boat your boat wants to go up in a wave and this thing is not going to go up so again it will feel like the waves is just crashing over you because the buoyancy of the boat is going to try and overcome that and that's the, your displacement of, of, of your boat if your boat is a 20,000 ton displacement it will definitely um, take 20,000 to lift it up and if that thing is more than 20,000 at the bottom holding back the dragging falls then something again will break or if nothing breaks your boat will just go under the waves so this is another problem with, with anchors, sea anchors. It should not go below your boat. It should always kind of like not float, but it should stay in front of you. Otherwise you will get into trouble. But below I will also put down the description of, of um, uh, the website that actually has a lot of research and also like almost crowdsource as well. So many people is contributing to this and they have practical experiences and practical People that survived hurricanes, people that survived storms, people that survived these things and how they survived it and people that almost did not survive it and why they did not survive it. Um, it is Victor Shane Drag Device Database. So Victor Shane Drag Device Database. You can just Google it, it will come up and it's there. So there's a lot of research there. And one of the things that Victor is saying is that normally in the old days, people were saying you can just you can just sit like this, and the waves can. Um, what is it? One of the problems that that Victor is is talking about is that if you're going to just drift in the water without anchors or drugs or whatever, if you just drift, half to I think is the one that many people now say you should do. It's fine if there's no breaking waves. The moment or surfing waves the moment you you go up and the waves start pushing you you are going in the wrong direction you will not be aligned um, if there's a breaking wave coming on you and it's just i mean those big waves if they break or a, a, a rogue wave is coming to you if you are in a hoof to position or in a floating position whatever way you're thinking of, of doing it then you will have a problem if some of those crests is just hitting your bow off and then you and you misaligned it's better boats is designed to have your point always pointing into the waves they are designed for that so all the waves and water can break over the the, the the boat and it will be fine so but the moment you turn like this and the wave hits you like that you will be in trouble even from a stern i think many boats the i mean even our catamaran we have a big glass door there so it will just go right through into the cabin it's not even funny so we have to point the nose always to to the water and that's why you get sea anchors the sea anchor is trying to make sure that you point always into the thing um that is if you cannot run anymore so we will discuss the running and drugs later on but sea anchors is to keep you static static as possible in the water now we're going to have a catamaran so catamaran the same bridal anchor the bright yeah the bridal we use for the anchor the bridal anchor we're going to use to also put the drogue uh, the, the sea anchor on because it 
it's going to be a lot of forces. If your force, if 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 your holding point is not strong enough, you will rip them apart. So I'm not sure where you're going to put it on the mono, maybe where the snubber line is and so on. But to keep your boat always pointing north, you need to make sure that the bridle is is always. If if the bows of the catamaran is like this, the bridle is not normally make it that it doesn't swimming right. Um, like many manuals is doing on, on anchor, it's starting to swim. You don't want a boat to swim because if it's swimming like this and the wave comes, it, it will then have a, a broadside effect. So you actually want kind of like a bridle thing. So you must try to tie it from the from the most pointy sides of, of a manual. I'm not sure where you're going to do that. So maybe the, the bow, bow cleats or something, I don't know, on opposite sides. But on a catamaran, the bridle that you use for the, the bridle chain or bridle that you use for the anchor, that is the one. So first of all, it has to be equal forces. Then a little piece of chain in the beginning of the bridle works as well because you, you if you do run into those shock waves that you're not in synchronization and then at one point you will not be because you either going to get closer or get further or the wave frequencies is going to change anyway. So you want you want the chain to actually help you to, to have that water resistance, but not and have the tension all the time on a rope, rope without getting it, it snapped. It's the same as the anchor rope. The anchor is then to stop yourself in the sea. Now let's go over, let's go over to drogues. Let us see what drogues is all about. Drogues is actually a speed limiter more a speed limiter than it is actually an anchor so if you think about it that way it needs to limit your speed why does it need to limit your speed let's think about it the wave if you're going to go and the wave you start surfing down the wave the possibility of you eating either into the next wave and then catapult and uh, it's very easy to catapult because remember this wave here is going like this rotating like this you're going down and the wave here is rotating like this but when you nose stick in there that rotation is actually the other way around so it will just capsize you very quickly so um very easy to capsize because of the of the rings that's doing like this the water molecules that's doing like this so they were on the same level right so this is the crest here and this is the line so it will it's like this so this one at the bottom is already going that way and on, on the crest is going that way so it is opposite side directions so from that point you need to make sure that your dragging device or your speed limiting device is not too big because you actually don't want to be static you you want to be moving through the water if you're static if you stern to the waves and the waves go in it will just break everything inside so it will break everything so a drug is a speed limiting device and a drug you want to actually not to be too big but now the same thing is happening with drugs as with the sea anchor if you not at the same space and you don't go the same circles together if you go opposite circles like this so you're getting closer and here at the bottom you're going further so at the moment you go further uh, the ropes again you will have this jerky movement you will be stopped you will like almost like bungee jumping i think the uh, shane was calling it so you will go forward and this one go backwards and then up there you go so there you slack again and that's when the waves can can push you to the side or something so you want constant tension you need to also if you deploy the the drug you need to be able a single drug not a series drug a single drug is is then just one cone sitting here and it's it's breaking you and you have to keep the, the tension on the rope the same so if you go in the same circles as the as a drug then you're fine so People can, if you do break it, because if you if you go like this and you go this way and it, the rope break and you lose the rope, you can use anything else. Start thinking about options. You can, as long as you have a rope, and I'm not talking about a line or a sheet or something, I'm talking about a rope. 
but you can take any sheet line and make it a rope and then put some stuff at the back like a little anchor or whatever and throw it out the idea is you just want to break be careful that you that it doesn't swing all the way down so that you that you again have the same motion like this so it has to stay behind you to drag you and more or less guide you um, or steer you so you want drugs actually just to limit your speed so for example if you're in the southern ocean and the wind is heavy it's no storm it's just the wind is just heavy but you still need to sail um, or now i know i'm going to get crucified if a hurricane is coming and you need to run but you the wind is going and starting to catch you on then you also need to start limiting yourself so that you don't do pitch bowling or uh, but it's not a good idea to have a, a drug that's stopping you and a wave is coming in so be careful with that so the series drug or what many people call them is jsds is jordan series drug because jordan was the guy that first designed or patent i don't think but they he designed it so a series drug is the best for sure but it's very difficult to to handle on a boat you cannot just winch it in you cannot put it onto a winch and winch it um, to, to to retrieve it is very difficult and it is a, a bulky thing but what makes it good is that the circle movements the frequency of the waves is going to change anyway so as it changes, these series of drugs there's always a couple of drugs in the right place in the water so that makes it actually then very good um, while a single drug if you are just two points then this one can be out of frequency and then you can do start doing this so if you're in frequency then it is fine and it's working well um, the other thing about the other drugs that you also need to take take care of if, if you're going to buy a drug is if it's like a parachute thing the, it should not collapse into itself because at one point it's going to be out of sync with the boat so if the toe is slackening what happens is the same as you if, you if you go with motherboard very fast and you stop and then suddenly all the water is still coming on so you the, mo the water has momentum so if the rope stop it will start collapsing in on itself and then it entangles so make sure it cannot collapse on itself so that's why a parachute is just not a good drug because a parachute will, will do this and then it starts moving onto itself it, it actually collapse on itself it go it, it goes inside out if you no, i think that's the right word so make sure that it cannot do that so you need to have something that you can store away stow away but it should yeah no, it can fold but if it's open it should not be able to get the, the things through so it has to have some lines or some something in between that it doesn't collapse so it's, there's very clever designs of drugs that can help it um, but it's always the more clever you get the more difficult it is to store because it is becoming then very bulky um, so for me I've talked to a couple of uh, delivery ca uh, delivery captains of the catamarans that's going from from Robin, uh, from Leopard to Australia and those guys are going always across the southern ocean so they they de they make many devices some of them use tires uh, car tires uh, other guys are using just a line with lots of knots in it um, and some of them make a make a line but also have a little anchor and then if you need to make so it's a kind of like a steering device then you need to make a the the two ropes the bright bridle to come there at the shackle and then from the shackle then to and then and they use anything they don't use these drugs because of the storage and also because of the price and things like that but uh, um, the delivery captains from leopard catamaran is taking the boats to australia they they just use long warps um, that's tied from one 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 hole to the other hole so it's just drag lines if you can call it like that so i'm thinking i will talk to them and 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 use a similar approach um, than they're using by just using a normal line because i will i will have ropes a lot of ropes anchor ropes and things like that because if we're going to go anchor ashore we want to have 100 meter lines maybe two of them so we will have lots of lines so i will use that and then device the same way 
as the sea captains or the delivery captains is doing. So that is something that you need to keep in mind. Always. Whether you have a sea anchor or a drogue. If you have a serious drogue, not that big problem. But if you have a single device drogue, that the waves is moving in circles. That's actually what the sea is doing. The water is moving in circles while... Okay. <laughs> the water is moving in circles while the waves is going forward. The energy is going forward. So you're not actually moving. The waves is not moving through the water. The water is not moving. So, yeah, the waves is moving, but the water is not moving. So keep, keep that in mind. If you have that in mind and that the water is moving in five meter circles or as big as the wave, the wave um, height, then you will be fine. Keep that in mind. If you have that mental picture in mind, you will do good. From my side, I never knew retirement is so chaotic. So we are really trying to put out some episodes. Um, we first tried to do the, the rum making process and, and it was a little bit embarrassing <laughs> so, because we, we enjoyed it too much. So we will, we will try to make a more civilized one. Then we tried to make uh, the launch one and Robinson and Kane was up and down with the launch date. So we, we, we just couldn't make that one because I said this weekend they will launch it. We rushed down and uh, nothing happens. Then we wanted to make one on visas and that didn't work out well. Um, so we, we are trying to make it and even on epoxy tables, how to make a nice glass epoxy tables and that failed. But the cat is now launched, Sisu is in the water, the boat is in the process of being registered at this moment. So very soon the name will be, will be in a register. And that's another thing that I was thinking of because I was f talking about flagging. Where do you flag your boat? So that is another episode that I was also thinking of. But thank you for watching. I um, hope that this, this one helps you guys. What is the difference between sea anchor and a drug? And I hope that you also understand how they work and when do they not work if they... Um, and what is a size? But why size does matter? <laughs> um, see you next episode.